What's up, Fight fans? Welcome back to KO with Kyle. I'm your host, Kyle. Today, we'll be doing a recap of the UFC fight night between Anderson Silva and Uriah Hall. It was a good night for betting favorites, and there were a lot of finishes. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Starting off the main card was a lightweight bout, Bobby Green versus Tiago Moises. Bobby Green was keeping his arms down while approaching Moises. Uh, they each got a takedown, rounds one and two. There's more striking volume from Green, but the judges scored it a unanimous decision win for Tiago Moises. I had mentioned in the forecast episode that the over 2.5 rounds would be a good bet because Green's last eight fights went to decision. I didn't end up making that bet, but it would have cashed. Next at middleweight, we had Kevin Holland versus Charlie Antiveros. Holland got a slam takedown into ground and pound. Holland got a body lock takedown that essentially KO'd Antiveros, who submitted by verbal submission. Antiveros had to be taken out on a stretcher. It was a really strong performance by Kevin Holland. Next at heavyweight, we had Greg Hardy versus Maurice Green. Hardy got a takedown round one and was controlling the center of the octagon. Hardy landed a looping left that knocked down Green. Hardy swarmed with punches for the TKO win. Hardy's skills seem to be improving in the UFC. And in the co-main event at featherweight, we had Bryce Mitchell versus Andre Feely. Mitchell was landing multiple takedowns. He landed three takedowns in round one. When Mitchell was on the field, was on the ground with Feely, he would sometimes get into full mount, but wasn't able to inflict much damage. Feely was landing more round two and keeping it on the feet. Round three, Mitchell gets another takedown and spends the majority of the round in top control. The judges scored it in a decision win for Bryce Mitchell. Mitchell wore his camo trunks for the first time and got the win. Congrats to him. In our main event at middleweight, we had Anderson Silva versus Uriah Hall. Slow start from both, trying to just time each other's movements. Silva was throwing some combinations and Hall was just kind of covering up. At the very end of round three, Hall landed an overhand right that knocked down Silva. He wasn't able to finish before Silva was saved by the bell. In round four, Hall landed a right hand that knocked down Silva. In round four, yeah, and then he finished with some shots for the TKO. Anderson Silva didn't retire after the fight and instead said he needed to talk with his team. Silva looked pretty good in the first three rounds, even at 45 years old. Dana White said in the post-fight conference that Silva should never fight again. Quickly going over the prelims, we had Miles Johns versus Kevin Natividad at bantamweight. It's pretty evenly matched rounds one and two. In round three, Johns landed an uppercut KO. Next at light heavyweight, we had Dustin Jacoby versus Justin Leddit. Jacoby knocked Leddit down with leg kicks. Jacoby landed some shots and then got an uppercut KO. Next at welterweight, we had Jason Witt versus Cole Williams. Witt got an immediate takedown into ground and pound. An elbow cut Williams' forehead. In round two, Witt got another slam takedown, gets into full mount, and secures a head and arm choke for the submission win. Next at middleweight, we had Sean Strickland versus Jack Marshman. Strickland was controlling the center of the octagon and landing more rounds one and two. Marshman had more energy round three, but he could never get in range. The judges scored it in a decision win for Sean Strickland. Next at bantamweight, we had Adrian Yanez versus Victor Rodriguez. Yanez looked sharp on his feet. Yanez landed a couple punches into a left head kick KO. Finally, at lightweight, we had Alexander Hernandez versus Kritz Grutzemacher. Hernandez was landing leg kicks and varied strikes. A head kick from Hernandez knocked down Grutzmacher, and he finished with a flurry. There were four Performance of the Night bonuses, and they went to Miles Johns, Adrian Yanez, Alexander Hernandez, and Kevin Holland. In Kyle's fight picks, I picked Bobby Green, Greg Hardy, Kevin Holland, Bryce Mitchell, and Uriah Hall. So I went four for five. I made positive eight units betting on favorites and straight picks and parlays. We will have a forecast of the UFC fight night between Tiago Santos and Glover Teixeira this week. So please subscribe and never miss out on our timely content. And until next time, fight fans, peace.